about to go speedboating. Let's do this. boating was awesome. That was such a very unique and interesting experience for numerous different reasons that I'm going to get into on this video. Now, first off, I have to give a huge shout out to both Speedboat Adventures and Captain Mike. The whole experience was unbelievable and so well run, you know, especially Captain Mike being both a, our tour guide and obviously our like, you know, uh, just coach when it comes to how to ride and operate these speedboats because obviously, as you saw from the footage, you're literally driving this. And the cool thing about the whole experience with, with it is that on one end, things were very rigid and structured, right? In the sense that he's like, okay, you know, as you saw from the footage, we had to pretty much be in a straight line together and kind of follow each boat in front of you and everything. But at the same time, especially with the big distance between the speedboats, there was a lot of flexibility to kind of have some fun, you know, and... After driving it for a little bit, you kind of get the idea of, you know, how to move it and maneuver it, especially. And with a lot of the bigger boats, as you saw, like driving around while we were also doing this, there's a lot of big waves at some point. So we got completely airborne numerous times while uh, while doing it, which is awesome, right? It, it, it was an absolute blast. And in Captain Mike's words, he basically said, look, think of a speedboat like a go-kart but on water and i thought that that was actually a spot-on analogy especially after like trying out and driving it because initially when you get to the the whole tour and the whole experience you get there and i wasn't sure like how uh you know like what would what, what they would we be like on ropes together like i wasn't sure how structured it really would be but they do give you a tremendous amount of flexibility and i might even use that word of trust because while we were driving I mean, or if I call that driving or boating, I guess, you know, boating through the entire San Diego port and the San Diego Harbor, you know, there was tons of other massive boats, as you saw from the footage, just boating along with us. And a big thing with the, the go-karts or go-karts, uh, speed boats, I'm going to interchange those, is he said, look, there's no reversing. So what happens is there's no gas pedal. So there's nothing that you're doing with your feet. It's all this basically lever right here. And the more you push it down, the faster you go, but there's no reversing. So if let's say there's a big boat coming, you know, I'd have to like slow down, wait for it to cross, and then I keep going in the path because obviously he said we have to stay in a straight line. Now, the cool thing about the entire experience especially is I like that it had both the fun element of driving the speedboat. I mean, driving is an absolute blast. I mean, especially once you get the hang of it, and it's, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty easy to, you could probably learn it in like 30 seconds. It's very easy to do. Once you get the hang of it, like, driving it as an absolute blast but in addition what would happen is we would literally do i think we did like a loop basically and we'd go to certain points around san diego and around like especially in the water and everything and we look at all these incredible whether it's a boat or submarine or just like a historical 
place or whatever the case is, you know, and what happened is he had a loudspeaker on his boat that connected to each one of the individual boat speakers. So we'd be driving by something and on his, you know, remote, he'd be like, oh, right now we're driving by X, Y, and Z. This is the historical fact about it. And he gives some, some kind of like education behind what we're seeing. And that would come out on a loudspeaker. So it had both, like I said, the fun of like driving the speedboat, which is an absolute blast. And then in addition, you also have like all this education and this history you're learning from, you know, all these amazing things that you're seeing. And the whole experience was awesome. You know what I mean? Especially I'll say that as you got more, as we got more comfortable, especially at the end with, with speedboating, because also, like I said, in the beginning, it can be kind of nerve wracking because it says, look, you know, at one end, Again, make sure you follow me, follow the boat in front of you. There's, I think, five boats in our group, right? So it goes him, the leader, then one through five. And he says, just make sure you follow the boat in front of you. Make sure you stay, as he said, Lacey, in the white water. Because if you're in line, there's less, like, turbulence, I guess that, that's the right word. You know, if you kind of deviate from it, the waves are a lot more shaky. But near the end, especially once got, everyone got more comfortable, he's like, look, he's like, we're going to go through some waters and we're going to be doing some zigzagging, maybe some donuts. And I, like I said, there'd be points where we'd hit like a big wave, especially like a big tanker drove by, we hit a big wave and the, the boat would be entirely airborne for a little bit. So it was, it was pretty crazy. Like it, it got pretty nuts. It was awesome. And the biggest thing though, like I said, the, the most nerve wracking thing, I think, especially in the beginning was that he said, look, you know, there have been horror stories of people not listening to me, not slowing down for bigger boats. And in this area, bigger boats rule. And they've hit them. And obviously, as you can imagine, that's not the position you want to be in. So, but once you get the hang of it, it really isn't that hard. You know, I think the biggest thing is just really being cognizant, being aware of your surroundings, obviously, like anything, you know, in addition to there'd be points where we were driving. And if you think about it, we're amateurs, right? We're, uh, that's the first time that I've ever driven a boat by myself. So, you know, there'd be, you know, us going and then you see like a big tanker coming this way. And then they'd slowly kind of deviate their course because they could kind of tell, okay, this is just a speedboat tour we're not gonna even get close to them because they're doing their own thing you know that kind of stuff but it was an awesome experience i'm telling you if you ever get the chance definitely try it out again huge shout out to speedboat adventures and captain mike that was awesome